Come on, baby, give me 235. You can do it. Do it for daddy. Daddy wants it. What's going on guys, my name is Batidio and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 7 and the start of a brand new series. So during my time attack build series I've mentioned a couple of times that I was thinking about doing a, a drag slash insane build series and that this is the start of it basically. So um, the first car we have for our uh, drag build slash insane build series is this, a 1966 Ford Lotus Cortina which I got for free, it was one of the reward options when you got past a certain level um, in, in single player. So I, did, I opted for this one. Um, so it currently has, uh, well, 186 brake horsepower. I have not touched this thing. This thing's got 186 brake horsepower. That's nuts. For something that's 51 years old, that's a lot of horsepower. I wasn't expecting that, in all honesty. Uh, but it doesn't matter. It's a good, it's a, it's a good platform for to start. So, we got this 1966 Ford Lotus Cortina, which is going to be our first drag slash insane build. Um, in terms of the rules for this series, it's not as restrictive as the Time Attack build series. So, the only rule with regards to the modifications is it must have drag tires fitted. But barring that, anything goes. There's no open limit in terms of PI or in terms of what class we take it to. Anything goes in that regard. Uh, and once we've done all the modifications we can do to a car, we are going to take it to the drag strip it'll have three runs down the drag strip and the fastest one will be the time that counts and then we'll take it to the Mulsanne straight um, at Le Mans for a down and back to see what the top speed is so what we're going to do first of all though is we're going to take it to the drag strip in its current form just to see what we're looking at because I'm quite interested to see what a, a 50 year old car with a you know near enough 200 brake horsepower can do so let's head down to the drag strip and uh, see what this thing has in its current form okay then guys so here we are one mile drag strip. Let's see what this little Lotus Cortina has. This thing moves. Even in its basic form, it moves properly. Past the halfway mark, approaching 130 miles an hour. I don't know if he's only got four gears, but there's the run. Ooh, so a 35 second run in its default form, 35.951. So that's pretty good I think for a one mile run so what we're going to do now is I am going to modify this thing and we are going to see what sort of time we can get out of it it's going to get three runs of course once we've modified it uh, but let's get down to business and um, see what kind of power we can get out of this thing I sense an engine swap coming <laughs> okay then guys we're back and here it is so previously 186 brake horsepower now has over one thousand brake horsepower i did that engine is what we were talking about it's now got a 6.2 liter v8 which is also has two whopping turbochargers bolted to it so this thing is going to move if nothing else i don't know if it's going to move in a straight line for all that long but <laughs> before it tries to kill me and several other people as well but uh it is going to move off the line so what we're going to do now is we're going to take it to the drag strip. It's going to have three runs down that one mile drag strip. The previous best time, of course, um, in terms of it in the standard form, was a 35.9. I have, I have a little inkling that it probably is going to beat it in its current form. And then after that, we're going to take it to the Molson straight and see what kind of top speed we can get out of it. So let's head down there now and uh, see what sort of time we can get out of this 50 year old Ford Lotus Cortina with a thousand brake horsepower under the bonnet. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, then. <laughs> 50 years old. A thousand brake horsepower. Let's see what that translates to on a drag strip. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we lost a lot of time there. 
There's 200 miles an hour. 220 miles an hour. Ooh, a 24.274 as its first run. Okay, we can beat that. We can definitely beat that time. Because as you, as you saw, we had a little bit of trouble getting into, I think it was fifth gear. We had, or was it, no, it was fourth gear. We had a little bit of trouble in third gear and it was going, its arse was all over the shop. So 24.2 is the time to beat. So we're going to try that again. There we go. Right. Come on, baby. Yeah, the key was to get out of uh, third gear kind of sharpish. Off the limiter. Yeah, that's probably not so much scup with the, uh, the run, but it's going to make it a little bit difficult. And there it is, a 22.0. Hoochie mama. So we've shaved, what, 2.2 seconds off there? But I did redline it in fifth. I did bounce it. I did pop it off the limiter in fifth, which kind of... Uh, I don't, want to, I don't want to say ruined the run, but it did compromise it just a little bit. So, we're going to have one more run now, and we're going to see if we can't break into the 21s. Go away. Stupid thing. Right. So, last run before we head to the ball side straight to see what the top speed is. Okay, then. So, don't redline fifth gear, and don't linger in third. Here we go. I think this run might have been cooked. But we're in sixth now, and we are moving. Come on, baby. Oh, it's so... Yeah, we... A little bit of trouble getting off the line there. And a little bit of rear end. So, the best time we got from those three runs was a 22.055. I'm pretty happy with that. But what we're going to do now, though, is we are going to take it to the Mulsanne straight at Le Mans, and we are going to see what kind of speed we can get out of this. 240 is my guess, but uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to jump over there now, and uh, we'll see what kind of insanity this thing can still keep providing us with. Okay, then, guys. So here we are at the Le Mans circuit on the Mulsanne straight, and we're going to have a down and back run on this course so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to go full balls out right now i'm going to just saunter it i don't know maybe up to 100 120 mile an hour up to that curve there ease off once i get through it and we've got all that straight to barrel down that's when i'm going to plant it and see what kind of top speed we can get so let's uh let's go shall we Here we go then. Let's see what speed we can get out of this thing. Come on, give me 250. Two thirty. Two thirty-two. Well, we started to get out of shape on that. Right, we got uh ooh, that didn't sound very good. Right, we got two thirty two. Right, we're gonna see if we can get I think it I think we could have got further, but we had I don't know for some reason I think it had a bump or something, a bit of a uh bit of mischief in the road. And, uh, yeah, that scuppered that run a little bit where we were up to about, we were just around 231, 232. So, uh, yeah. Let's see what we're going to get on this next run. 
I want. I would have liked 250, but I think the best we can hope for is possibly 235. But hopefully we're going to get it this time. So let's uh, get those rear tyres nice and toasty. Sorry to try to get away from that. You know what I mean? Uh, get away from me. Okay. Not the ideal start to the run, but... Oh, he's getting away from me already. Have we got a crosswind or something? I think uh, 232 miles an hour is the best we we're going to get out of it, but you never know. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. <sighs> okay, well, that's it. 232 miles an hour out of a 50-year-old Ford Lotus Cortina. <laughs> oh, wow. Wee -hee -hee. So there we go then guys, that is my first um, drag slash insane build. Um, I'm, you know, I'm tempted to go for one more run. One more run. We had three drag runs, let's have three top speed runs. Come on, baby, give me 235. You can do it. Do it for daddy. Daddy wants it. Oh, it's these bombs, it's these bombs. You just got to try and minimize it. It's starting to fishtail a little bit. Oh, that's the problem I'm getting on there. Uh... <laughs> Okay, well, uh, yeah, that was the uh, the third and final run. Sixth gear pull away. Okay, guys, well, that's the end of today's episode. So, um... Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy and you want to see more insane uh, drag builds from myself, then make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, also, leave a comment down below. What's the nuttiest car you have built? Top speeds, drag times? Let me know in the comments, guys. I'm always happy to hear from you. Uh, but again, guys, thank you everybody so much for watching. Oh, also, let me know in the comments what cars you would like me to build. Be it time attack builds or, um, or drag builds. Whatever it is, just let me know. So, uh, thank you again, guys, for watching. Take care, and as always, I will catch you in the next video. Peace!